Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video series, we're going to learn how to create a loop-based production in Reaper. Now that we have all our loops in our project, we're ready to arrange our song. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the items a little further down the timeline. And we could do this with ripple editing. If we go up right here, this is the ripple editing button. If we hit it once, it goes to ripple editing mode for one track. So if I grab an item and move it, it moves everything to the right of it as well, just to the right of it. But we could also do it to all tracks. If we hit the button again, it goes to ripple editing all mode. So now if we move things, all of the items to the right of the item I grab get moved. So let's move it all to bar five to give us some room to create an intro. Then we'll label our song parts using regions. We'll go up here to bar one and select from one to bar five. Then we can right click it and choose create region from time selection. Choose that and it creates a region up here, which will make it a lot easier to see our song parts. Let's right click it and edit it. We'll name it intro and give it a color. Hit OK. Now we have our first song part named intro. Hit escape to clear the time selection. Let's create an intro from bar one to bar five. And I'm going to start with our flute. Let's turn off ripple editing by hitting the button again. And let's grab our flute and put it right here. I also want to start off with a tambourine loop. So let's copy our tambourine and paste it right here. And right at bar three, let's copy loop one. And just like that, we have an intro. Now let's create a pre chorus from bar five to bar nine. Right click it. Create region from selection. We could have just hit Shift R, right click it, edit region, and we'll name it pre chorus. Give it a color. Now, for the pre chorus, I'm going to bring in all the drums. I'm going to turn off our flute and our vocal. In fact, Let's move the vocal over to bar nine. Let's make a snap offset and drag it to the top of the bar. Then let's create a group for all the vocals together. Let's select them all by right click dragging, hit G, then we can move it all to bar nine, which is gonna be our chorus. Let's get back to our pre-chorus. Let's move the second electric piano out of the way as well. Let's put it at bar 13 for now. And now we're going to feature this synth in the pre chorus. And when synth two comes in, I want to turn off the electric piano and the bass. So let's split it right here on both and delete them. <laughs> so 
So that's our pre-chorus. Now let's create a chorus at bar 9 to bar 17. Select it. Hit that keyboard shortcut. Let's name it Chorus. Give it a color. And let's create our chorus. We're going to have the vocal come in. We're going to turn off Synth 1 and Synth 2. So select it all, right click drag, and delete them. And leave all the drums on, along with the bass, and the first electric piano. And also delete the flute. Let's move Electric Panel 2 to be later. So now we have an intro, a pre-chorus, and a chorus. Now let's create a verse. So from 17 to 21, let's make that a verse. Give it a color. Now let's copy some of the drum loops. And the hi hat loop. Let's get rid of electric piano one, but still use electric piano two. Then we'll create another intro over here. In fact, we can just copy the intro from the beginning. Hold a control on the PC or command on the Mac and just drag it over and drop it right at bar 21. And that creates an intro right there because it duplicates the region along with the items. Although for this intro, let's move this over. So it only comes in the second half. Ungroup this one and delete the first half. And that should work for our verse and our intro. Then at bar 25, let's put another pre chorus. So we can zoom out, go to our pre chorus, control on the PC, command on the Mac, and drag it over. Let's also drag over a chorus and put that at bar 29. Now, because of the length of this video, we're going to cut it 
into two videos. So in the second part, we're going to finish up arranging the song. Let's go. Oh! <laughs>